My Brain is a Forest that Animals Shit and Fuck in. That is the title of the book. It is outside of our norm, maybe kind of horror, maybe just kind of life. I put little paneloid stickers just to be safe. I didn't want YouTube to get pissed off. So I threw little paneloid stickers. Before I kind of tell you about it, go to her Instagram. That's right there on the bottom of this picture here. Go give her a follow. How can I say it? I can't prove that I get it, but I get it. Like it's deep. It made me feel something and I don't know how to prove to you that I understood it. It's almost like if you put your subconscious on the page and she literally took her subconscious and threw it on the page. And it's really cool. Like it's one of those things where I don't want to go and say it's like a coffee table book. Maybe not because children would pick it up. But I felt cooler that I read it. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like I read something that's like really niche. And I'm like, yeah, I got to read it early, but I loved it. It's something completely out of the norm that we read. And the art is fantastic. It's super unique. I haven't touched anything like this. The first short story within it, the character you see on the cover, she's naked and she's in the woods. But it makes sense. It just makes sense. I want more. I agree. I do want more, actually. So there's a lot of things I liked about it. I love the cutesy art to it, but with like deeper meaning. The colors were beautiful. And as a person who probably doesn't deal with anything that this person's dealing with, like on a psychosis kind of level or anything like that, mm. it's so interesting to like read the words, what they're saying. And yeah, it's just, it's on a different level. I feel what you're saying. Like I couldn't explain it to anybody, but man, yeah, I enjoyed every moment of it. It was a nice, smooth read for sure. After I absorbed it for real, I was like, am I basic? Like we read a bunch of bad man and a bunch of like i read a good amount of indie stuff and sci-fi stuff but like this is just like its own thing you're right so i read nothing but like superheroes and then once in a while i get like this indie type of book that just kind of it's so different but so refreshing to swap it's lonely at the center of the earth it blew up it's huge right so if you google it it was like on people's top 10. i picked it up because it was 10 bucks and the title was it's lonely at the center of the earth i legit thought that meant this person was living in a bunker at the middle of the earth i had no idea it was a giant like 200 page book about like her mental struggles suicide stuff like that it was beautiful so i got the same kind of vibe when reading this so yeah so very unique very different i would hate to like compare it to anything especially the first story it just felt like it's hard to like you were saying like very subconscious i don't want to like reduce it to like something that's already been done i got american psycho vibes that just like internal monologue going I think that would be a compliment to it. That makes sense. It's kind of felt like a diary in a sense. Yeah, that's how I felt. A diary. I'm glad we got to read it early too, but pre-orders are ending July 20th. So get your pre-orders in now. Go over to Lola's Instagram. Tell her hello. Go buy the book and maybe leave it on your coffee table if you don't have children. Come over. Great title though. <laughs>